My name is Chris Paduska, and I'm from the Department of Physics and Physical Oceanography. And I'm also cross-appointed to the Department of Chemistry, and my research interests lie at the intersection between chemistry and physics, focusing on how materials are affected by the way that they're put together, both in the kinds of atoms that they contain and how those atoms are arranged. And so the particular project that uh, I've been working on that has led to the Petro Canada Young Innovator Award is related to understanding bone-like coatings that could be used for uh, medical implants. And there is, this research came about um, in conjunction with a colleague of mine in the Department of Chemistry, Erica Mertrod. And my method of creating materials involves electrochemistry. And she was interested in these bone-like coatings. And we thought, what would happen if we tried mixing these two methods together? The advantage of electrochemistry would be that we could mix the protein and the mineral part together in the same kind of synthesis method. And we had students who were eager to try. We didn't know how well this would work. And it's been a fantastic project. It's just really taken off from there. And so it's due in large part to great undergraduates that got it started. And we've had very great graduate students continuing. And so the idea of our research is that we make mineral coatings of calcium phosphate, which is like the mineral you find in bone, and also collagen, which is like the protein you find in bone. And we try to understand how we can put those together and tailor coatings to make better implant materials. Uh, so we're not making an artificial bone. We're just trying to make a better interface or a better coating to help bone grow on a metal medical implant. And this has a lot of implications for trying to reduce costs affiliated with these kinds of implants. Uh, they're very painful when they go wrong. The body rejects it. And they also cost a lot of money. So there's a lot of incentive to try to understand how to do this better. And it's a great boost to have Petro Canada supporting this research. Uh, what we're going to be able to do with that money is to start looking at how cells respond on our coatings. And we're looking for things like how does the stiffness of the coating, how does its texture, or how does its surface chemistry affect the way cells respond. So it's a very exciting juncture. We're working with Bob uh, Gendron in the Department of uh, Medicine here at Memorial, and also with Dr. Lori McDuffie at the University of uh, Prince Edward Island uh, Atlantic Veterinary College. So it's a great opportunity, and we're really happy to have that support. And it's going to mean a lot of great opportunities for students and uh, for me and my collaborators. Thanks. <laughs>